has famously been called a cleaner version of hell, and it's where Johar Sonayev would go if the jury decided to spare his life. In an exclusive interview, a former warden and a former inmate tell us death is easier than life at the federal supermax. The i team's Warren Lemanchek traveled to Colorado for a closer look. It is as isolated as the prisoners who call it home. The prison, called ADX Florence, is a tomb for the living. To me, it's life after death. Bob Hood was warden at this Supermax prison. He spoke exclusively to the I-Team in detail about a prisoner's sparse existence here, two hours south of Denver. For Johar Zarnayev, what's his life in ADX like? Even if the behaviors are good, though, it's pretty much a 23-hour a day in the cell, one hour outside. And even outside, it's not uh, a walk in the park. It's a, a caged environment. Inside the Supermax, Sarnayev would join a notorious group, the Unabomber, Oklahoma City bomber Terry Nichols, and other Islamic terrorists like 9-11 conspirator Zacharias Musawi, Ramzi Youssef, the mastermind of the 1993 World Trade Center attack, and Richard Reed. But Hood says Sarnayev would be no match for them or the 400 other hardened criminals here. He'll always have to be in solitary. He's young, he's uh, probably not streetwise, and he's very susceptible to assault, I, I think, because the average inmate would like to hurt him. His life will always be in danger. This is the most secretive prison in America. No one is allowed inside, and the only pictures we have are from federal lawsuits. A prisoner lives in a cell the size of a bathroom. It has a shower, a toilet, a concrete slab covered with a thin mattress. In the rare time outside, prisoners are kept in cages. One 15-minute phone call per month and a small black and white TV may seem like luxuries. But Hood says they're also tools, so the guards have something to take away. It is as stark as stark can be. It was not designed with humanity in mind. The isolation, the solitary, uh, you know, day to day, you're trying to keep your basic humanity from slipping through your fingers. Ray Luke Levisure of Maine spent five years here after being convicted of bombing public buildings. He says the sensory deprivation can drive a man insane, and lawsuits show it has. You just begin to degrade over time. You feel it. And so, as Sarnayev's lawyers fight to save his life, both the former inmate and the former warden agree he may wish they hadn't. I think it's a false choice in the sense that I think they're both death penalties. What is the worst possible punishment? Their hearts will say, kill him. If they're really looking for revenge and know the system, they should be asking for life imprisonment at the supermax. The Federal Bureau of Prisons has the final say over where Johar Sarnayev spends his days. People who've been here say the best hope an inmate has is to be sent somewhere else. Reporting in Florence, Colorado, Lauren Lemanchek, WBZ News.